frustrating game today, going one up, one all, two up, and then down to ten men. What's your opinion on the overall performance? I uh, felt that we didn't take the initiative when we went one up, allowed them to get back into the game, uh, and the same when we went two one up. Um, sending off, say, oh, I went with ten men at the end, and when they threw everything at us. Credit to the boys, because never, I said to them in there, never easy to play ten against eleven uh, in them conditions, uh, with the way they were putting balls in our box. And the boys stood up to it. We're just a bit frustrated that we didn't take the initiative after going one up and going two one up. We decided for the first five, ten minutes after that to let them get back into the game. And that's where we've got to learn, we've got to smother them and uh, be better. Was there any specific moments or decisions during the game that you feel impacted the final result? No, I felt that we, we didn't do what we should have done after we took the lead twice. And that, that was suffocate them, make sure it weren't easy for them to play. Um, get in their half and, and play in their half but we'll get that and when we get that again I always say it, we'll, we'll be okay. How do you build on the positives from this match but also address any areas of concern that you've seen? Again I made a couple of changes today and, and rightly so because we've got another game on Monday so we've got a squad that's good enough um, in my eyes to, to compete and everybody's got to have a chance to play otherwise you, you carry in five or six players week after week after week that ain't getting no game time. And that isn't a rotation system, it's basically trying to get what we feel is the best starting 11 um, moving forward for the winter months. Um, and that will continue for the next couple of weeks. And like I say, everyone's got a chance to stake their claim. And then after that, it's, it's their, their, their job to get themselves back in the team and their job to keep themselves in the team. Obviously, we've had a, a departure. How is that, with Teddy leaving, what impact is, will that have on the squad and the team? Well, we've got we had 18, 19 in the squad, we've got 18 in the squad now, Jensen stepped in at centre half, apart from that one error when he, he knows he should have headed it away, um, he done very well, you know, got cut on the head, big open cut but he carried on, didn't, didn't shy away from the challenge, uh, got better as the game went on, barely mind that's his first game this season because he got injured at last pre-season game, um, we'll keep our lookout for another player to come in. And if it comes available and suits what we're after and what we do, we'll, we'll, we'll bring him in. But I'm not eager to go and spend the money that Teddy's left behind just to fill a gap. Because like I say, we've got a good strong squad and we'll pick the right person to come in. And Teddy, Teddy went for certain reasons that are beyond his control really. Um, such a good lad, good player. Unfortunately he had to go, but that, that was his choice and, and it was a, a personal choice as well as a football choice. Um, we wish him all the best. he done well while he was in, in the green shirt for us. and. I say we will keep looking for players and, and that, that goes all through the squad because um, as time goes on you're going to need to shuffle the pack a bit. We move on to Phoenix away on Monday, quick turnaround. What are you expecting from that game? Tough, fierce, competitive game. Um, I believe that they, they didn't get the result they wanted today so they may be licking their wounds. No game in this league is going to be easy and you have to compete right to the end to get something from it. And, like I say, today if we'd just thrown the towel in after going down to 10 men and conceded the equalise from the penalty spot, um, we could have come off with no points. We've got four points out of six. Um, I always got the saying that if you win, win your home games and get a point away from home, you know, you've got half a chance of being successful. And we've done it rolls reverse for the first two games. We've got three points away and we've got a point in. Not beaten, undefeated. Um, and there's loads of football, loads of matches to play. So you can't get carried away if you win or lose the first few games. 